In this video, I'm going to show you how to add items to inventory. And you may be thinking, Steve, I've watched video 1002, how to put an item into inventory about a hundred times. What's, what's different with this one? Well, now that we have an item in inventory and we understand a little bit more about the system, it's important to know the difference between two different kinds of additions of stock. So in the first case, we might be adding more to an inventory statement that already exists. So here we could be adding more units of this item in this location, etc. And if we're going to do that, all we need to do is click on either the add button here, which will launch this modal, or we could click on the quantity and select add, which does the same thing. And let's pretend that we're adding 10 units I'm going to leave these fields blank and click Save. So we've increased this statement by 10 units from 23 to 33. That's an easy way to add items to inventory. But what will often be the case is that you'll be adding items that aren't under the same exact set of states as ones that currently exist. So in this instance, we're going to order more of these items. And as you can see, we don't have anything that's in a location of on order. So we have to add inventory and create a completely new statement. So here I'm going to select the part number. And you'll notice that these fields are now populated because this part number already exists. If you wanted to add a new part number at the same time, you could fill these fields out for a new part number. And let's order 100 of these. And the location we're going to put them in is called on order. You'll notice that's a new location. Again, I'm just going to leave, I'll, I'll go ahead and put a PO number here. So we'll say PO1234. And we'll say the carrier is FedEx. And I'll click Save. So now I've added this item to inventory, but it's in a location of on order. And that's why we have two records here. In the first record, we have the items where they're stored in our warehouse. In the second record, we have the items that are on order. In a later video, we're going to move those items. But for now, uh, since this is just an add video, I wanted to, to uh, show you how to add a new record as well as increase the quantity of an existing record. You'll notice too, um, and I wanna just stress that these circumstance fields down here are customizable. So we added these fields in an earlier video, the PO number, carrier, event note. We can add or remove a cost field. It's a special field. We'll talk about turning that on or off later. Um, the only circumstance that's absolutely required is an event date. You have to know when these things happen. Um, so that field is required, but everything else is just up to you in terms of what you'd like to track when you're doing additions to inventory. In the next video, we'll talk about removing items from inventory. Thanks for watching.